Joseph and I have been together romantically for three years. And he just recently left. I love Monique, and one of the main things that keeps me away is her obsession with cheap and free things. And I really want to get him back. Los Angeles substitute teacher Monique Lukens earns close to $2,400 monthly. But her decision to live on only $600 of that has taken its toll on her love life. We were going to get married, but as of now, like, I wouldn't, because she needs to have more balanced priorities. I have an obsession for free things, cheap OCD. This is LA and everyone drives, but Monique has hardly driven because it's too expensive. Other things Monique would do to save a buck are live in an apartment without a real bed at the moment. I need to blow air in my bed. <laughs> I don't want to spend electricity on blowing up the air. <laughs> And besides, it's like a workout. The fact that she won't, you know, take the step to put in real mattresses, that is one of the reasons that I um, broke up with her. But if I bought a bed, it would probably be about $1,000. I'd have to get movers. I've moved all around Los Angeles looking for a better deal. So I keep all my belongings in boxes so that at a moment's notice, I can just up and go. All her stuff gets piled up in boxes, and it gets pretty ridiculous. I check out to see if there is a cheaper place that I can live in than here. This is a great deal, but there's always something cheaper. With eight moves in the last seven years, Monique has saved over $7,000 moving her belongings herself. I can fit all my possessions in one car in less than 15 minutes. This is where I keep some electronics, shoes, clothes. Meat is expensive, and so is dairy. That's why I eat raw vegetables. I don't have to cook it. No energy is going into it. I don't have to refrigerate most of my stuff. One time, she had me go to an orange grove to pick oranges because she wanted us to live on free oranges. Most of the contents of my refrigerator are non-perishable. Right now, it's completely dry goods. Monique only runs her refrigerator for seven hours a week. By conserving that energy, she saves $120 each year. Instead of brushing my teeth with toothpaste, I use a mint plant. This is my favorite little plant. It's so healthy for a person. I chew the leaves every day as part of my hygiene. I'll even rub it against my gums to prevent any bleeding and take off some plaque. And they sh shine up really nice. By giving up dental hygiene products, Monique holds on to another $68 a year. Some people think that my behavior is over the top, but I'm going to do everything I can to win Joseph back. Monique has been my first and only girlfriend, so I'm willing to give her one more chance. Well, I'm going to accept this challenge, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to break the bank. Joseph's first priority is a new bed which has Monique on the hunt for an economical solution that can satisfy them both. We are going to a rummage sale at one of the schools that I substitute teach at. Oh. I brought my change. <laughs> nice. Wow, there's a lot of good stuff here. Quick question for you. The mattresses, so how much? They're $20 each. They're pretty messed up, Monique. $20 for one mattress is just out of the question. I would like to get two of them for $8 each. Two? All right and then we'll get this mattress and you guys can get out of here. Uh, yeah. I'm looking for some fabric. Well, we've got lots of that. 
Tell me flat out, how much is that originally? And you're saying it's 50% off. Right, it's 40% off. So that would be about 450. Well, I'm gonna need a bunch of them. So 450 is gonna be a little high for what I have in my uh -huh. pocketbook. Well, these are ones that are fairly old, and I've had them for a while, so I could, I could maybe sell them to you for $3 a piece. I think I'm gonna need about six to eight of them. Um, can I get eight fabrics anywhere here for ten sixty-three? dollars We have fabric for 40% off, some of it's 50% off. None of that would do for her, she had to have the bargain of the century. I would give you six of these. Six is not bad for, you know, for 1063, that's... The... Yeah, I think she was being respectful, but she was not at all. At least the guy she was with had some respect. You're paying uh, about half what I paid for the product. So please don't give me any more guff on this. She was the cheapest customer I think I have ever encountered. I hope she never comes back. I know that this cheapness, it runs deep in her, and it'll be a hard thing for her to overcome. I called earlier, and your wife said that you had some spare sheets. I'm excited. They didn't even mention a price. He's just going to give them to us. What is that? I hope it's not a bed bug. You, you, you're, you don't have bed bugs here, do you? Joseph, let's take the sheets. Well, thank you so much, and All thank right. your wife. She's so kind. Now that she's tracked down cast-off motel sheets, Monique doesn't have to spend $25 on basic linens. I think Joseph is going to love this. Whoa. <laughs> Check it out. Yes. And our lovely mint plant that has a five cent stick of incense in it. Take breath mint. Aw, oh, thank you. I, I've never seen you do something like this. The best thing, less than $30, everything. <laughs> I think that, you know, we might have a chance together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 